Hi, I'm Jim and this is Jim's Fix-It Shop and I've been getting a lot of questions on parts that I make that I sell. What do you have for sale? Well, I guess I'll do a video and show them all. Um, you've probably seen most of them or maybe even more, all of them, but the first thing that I got is the spring compressor to compress that large spring on your shift handle and this adapter goes on the end I use this all the time so I don't know if I can get it off there it goes it's got a hole in the end of it and that's for if your shift handle has a grease fitting in it that goes over the grease fitting and keeps it centered if you don't have a grease fitting in your handle, it has a point on it. And what you do is take probably an eighth of an inch drill bit and you drill a small hole in the end of your shift handle. Um, eighth of an inch deep is all you need just so that point goes into the handle. Otherwise, when you crank this down to compress that spring, this point is going to walk around on the end of your shift handle and probably slip off. And I have videos explaining this. These are $25 plus shipping. These I sell a lot of because when you find a used, what do they call them? Dethatcherizer. <laughs> For the front of your snapper, you hardly ever get the bracket. Now, when I find a dethatcher and I sell it, I always make sure one of these are in it. So when you get it, it's going to be just like the original person got it when he bought it. All the parts will be in there. Everything will be in good shape. you got to remember they are used and they have made them for over 20 years. So I sell these for $25. Spreader bars. I sell a bunch of these things. I have two styles. I can sell them either unpainted or painted. These have two coats of automotive primer from... <laughs> I'm old. I cannot think of <laughs> Rust-Oleum. <laughs> and it has two coats of Rust-Oleum red paint on them. And the unpainted ones are $18.50. The painted ones are $23.50. And they both come with two stainless steel bolts and washers. Now, I've had a lot of guys, I'll just throw this in there. That, how do you get this in without tearing a whole back of your machine apart? Well, that's why I made these with bolts instead of turning the ends and threading them. If your old one's all bent up and you're going to replace it, it's absolutely no good. So what you do is you take a hacksaw on an angle and you cut it in half. And you can pull this part out. Take the nut off and it'll come right out. These slip in without removing a fender. And then you put the bolt through from the outside. So they're very easy to replace. I've got a couple calls on these just lately. People want to put dual tires on the back of their machines. These are the bars you need to do that with. And it comes with all the hardware. There are six bars, bolts, lock washers, and a set of them is $135 plus shipping. These little jewels, I think I made a half a dozen of them and I sold almost all of them. I got one left. I sell these for $25. That must just be the magic number or something. Now what these are for is for removing the wheel flange off the large axle. These fit and you'll notice they have flats on them. 
That is because when they punch this hole through here, they leave burrs on the inside. And sometimes if you don't line the flats up with the holes, it won't go in. So you turn it. When the flats line up with the holes, it slides right in. You put your wheel puller against this and you're pressing it against the end of the axle, not inside. What's inside there, you ask? <laughs> well, let me tell you. I always thought them were welded in there, but they're not. This is a small axle that I cut in half. And if you notice, there's two flat steel discs and a rubber washer. And they drop them in against the end of this uh, bushing that your small diameter axle goes in here and spins on. And they press them in there and it pinches this rubber gasket. And if you can see, that's sticking out past the washer. It squishes it and it seals a hole. Now, if you try to put your wheel puller against this, you're going to mess that up and it's going to leak. And that's the only thing that seals your lube in your differential from running out. Now, up here, you can see these wear marks. That's where your dust cap and lip seal rides. You can see this groove right here. That's where the lip seal lip actually rides on the axle and it wears into it. And your boot covers this part up. That's what keeps the lube from leaking out and running on the back side of your tire. And that's about all the parts that I actually make and sell. And most of them, even these, will fit in a $10 uh, shipping bag from the post office. Uh, these little jewels, I just put in a small um, padded envelope. It's, they're not very big. I get them at the post office. They're a buck something, buck sixty. And it's only like three dollars typically to mail that, depending on where you live. The bags I get for the post office from these is nine forty five, nine fifty, somewhere in there. Uh Regardless of how much it weighs or where I'm mailing it in the United States. So I guess that's it. I just wanted to let everybody know what the parts is I do make and sell. Uh, I've had requests for making a lot of other parts. Uh, once things slow down a little bit, I want to finish up my... A fixture that I'm building to make eight pinion gears for the back of your machine out of a four pinion gear <clears throat> so um, I do want to thank everyone for your thoughts and prayers on the loss of our father-in-law uh, he's a great person one of the most intelligent people I think I've ever met uh, just on the way he no matter what your problem was he could come up with a way to fix it he was the maintenance uh, supervisor at SD Warren paper mill for years and he's got a, a lot of knowledge and schooling from that job <clears throat> so thanks a lot for that and I guess that's it and as always work safe have fun and keep on snapping we'll talk to you soon so long